Hi, I'm Lucas with Archery Talk, and today we're going to look at the OMP VersaCradle Bow Vice. It's, uh, it's actually super easy to get set up. I'm going to do that right now. It comes with, if you buy it with a kit, it'll come with a, an actual vise you can clamp it down with. Or if you like, there's got four screw holes over here, and you can just uh, drill it permanently into your table. But since this is not my personal table, I'm just going to do it this way. And use the vise, clamp it down. And then the great thing about this vise uh, over just about anything else is just its, its mobility, ease of use. It kind of it, it's it has basically 360 degree rotation. You can lay it flat down this way or flat down this way, all with a bow inside. And we'll show you how that works in just a second. For purposes of demonstration, we're just going to throw in the Prime STX39, one of our target test bows, inside the vise. It's super easy. It's got these non kind of abrasive pads that will not mar up the limbs, at least in my experience. You clamp it down, just hand, not crazy tight, just hand tight. And then from here on, you can kind of move the vise wherever you need it to go. So if you want to want to get it set up straight, let's say you want to put in a new D-loop, which I'm kind of in need of right now. You just kind of set it up, get it set up vertical, use your levels, and get your setup whichever way you like. Just squeeze in the lever just to the right, and you can move it small or large as you need to. Get it set up there for vertical. You can put your, knock your arrow over there, kind of see about where you want your, your D-loop. Mark it off, tie it, in a, tie it in a knot, and then you can set it down this way. You can kind of work perfectly horizontal. This is, a, again, a, almost a 40-inch bow, and uh, has no trouble holding onto the weight of that thing just on that one limb, uh, which is really great. And from here, you can kind of, again, tie in a peep, tie in a new D-loop, whatever you need to do with your bow. It's all right here at your quick and easy disposal. This is really the Cadillac of bow vices. We have other bow vices here. Uh, I've tried a few of them. And they all work, ultimately. This one just is the easiest, and one, easiest one to move around, no matter what you want to do with your bow. You just put it into position and get to work. Uh, depending on what position you need your bow in, you can actually move the grip of the vise from the top here off to the side. And I'll show you how to do that right now. All you need to do to get this thing removed is unscrew the main, the main uh, handle at the bottom. And then there's an Allen key you can access in here. You just tighten, uh, loosen it rather, and then the whole thing will uh, will disengage. Perfect. I'm just take that off the nut there. Now we'll just move this thing this way so we can see it a little bit better. And same idea. Put that screw over in that spot now. There's a plate. We'll get that underneath it as well. The OMP VersaCradle Bow Vice, with everything you see here, retails for about $240. That's about $210 if you don't need this vice. Let's say you just want to mount the screws in yourself or you have your own vice. Um, it's, a, it's a good bit more expensive than a, a more traditional vice like this one over here. But again, you get what you pay for. This is the, this is the Cadillac of bow vices. It really can move in any direction you want and will work on any bow you want to, to, to work with. If you, if you have a wide limb bow, like the new Matthews Halons or the Matthews TRX target bows, there's a wide limb bow adapter you can get that costs about $100, and that will cover with every compound bow you need uh, you can work on with this vise.